Christina Grimmy participated in the sixth season of the American reality show The Voice. She impressed both the judges and audience with her interpretation of Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball. She appeared to be on track to fulfil her childhood dream of having a successful career, earning a living from her music. Despite the fame and recognition of her musical talent, Christina's life was cut short at the end of a night after her own concert. A fan ended up shooting her during an autograph session. This is the story of Christina Grimmie. Christina Victoria Grimmie was born in New Jersey on March 12, 1994. She started singing at the age of four and later learned to play the piano. Her musical abilities were undeniable and in 2009 at 15 years old she posted her first cover video on YouTube. She quickly gained recognition for her covers of well-known songs by artists including Taylor Swift, Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus, Christina Aguilera, Lady Gaga, among others. Christina is best known for her video with Sam Tsui, a cover of Nelly's Just a Dream, which garnered over 200 million views. She performed at a UNICEF charity concert, she sang backing vocals for Selena Gomez and The Scene, and performed at Digitour in 2011, an event for YouTube artists. As her popularity grew, she stopped being a backing vocalist and started opening for Selena Gomez and The Scene, as well as for the Jonas Brothers. On June 14th, 2011, at the age of 17, she released an EP titled Find Me. Her first single, Advice, was released on Radio Disney. In 2013, her song With Love featured on the seventh episode of the fifth season of the series The Vampire Diaries. She was a YouTube star, and by 2013 she had over 2 million subscribers to her channel. But, in 2014, her career really took off. On February 24th, 2014, at the age of 19, her blind audition on The Voice aired in the United States. Christina sang the song Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. All four coaches turned their chairs, Usher, Shakira, Adam Levine and Blake Shelton. She chose Adam Levine to be her coach on the reality show. She won her two battles and reached the live phase of the show as one of the public's favourites. Christina finally finished in third place. She was soon signed by a record label and released more albums and EPs. In addition to her musical talent, the American also liked to express herself artistically in other ways. She made her first and only film appearance in the romantic comedy The Matchbreaker in 2016. On June 10th, 2016, Christina was scheduled to perform at the Plaza Live Concert Hall in Orlando, Florida. Earlier that day, she messaged her fans on her social media page and invited them to attend the event. Everything went well during the performance, but at the end of the show, a tragedy took place. As she signed autographs, she was approached by Kevin James Loibel, a 27-year-old man who lived in St. Petersburg. Believing that he was a fan, Christina opened her arms to welcome him. He raised his gun and fired three times. One to the head and two to the chest. As the crowd rushed to her aid, her brother Marcus tackled Loibel, knocking him to the ground and throwing the gun away. However, Kevin managed to escape from Marcus. He leaned against a wall and shot himself with a second weapon. Christina was rushed to the nearest hospital, Orlando Regional Medical Center, but she succumbed to her injuries and died at 11 p.m. on the 10th, at the age of 22. Kevin was born on March 10th, 1989. His family history was troubled. There were many fights. His mother had serious behavioural problems and she severely beat her children. She once broke his brother's arm. She took her own life in 2010 in an overdose of medication. 
Kevin's father began dating another woman. In the following two years, the police were called five times due to their fights, which were always the consequence of an excessive consumption of drinks and drugs. During the investigation, Kevin was captured by several cameras inside the venue waiting for the show to end. Authorities also discovered that he had been armed with two guns, two ammunition clips and a large hunting knife. Christina's brother was considered a hero because apparently Christina was not Kevin's only intended victim. Kevin was a resident of St. Petersburg, Florida. He had travelled to Orlando with the intention of committing the crime. Having spoken to his acquaintances and also searching through his belongings, authorities concluded that Kevin had developed an unhealthy passion for Christina to the point that he even changed his appearance to try to win her over. When investigating his lifestyle, the police discovered that he had lost weight, had eye surgery, so he no longer needed to wear glasses and had a hair transplant. He did all this to become more handsome in the eyes of the singer. The family were not aware of his fixation on Christina. He hadn't even told them that he would be taking the journey from St. Petersburg to Orlando, a three and a half hour car trip. They never heard him make any comment about the singer. However, some of his friends and co-workers knew that he was passionate about her, but never suspected anything. They thought it was a platonic love. Investigations discovered that he had flown into a jealous rage when Christina published a photograph of herself and her boyfriend and producer, Stephen Resser, on her personal Instagram account. Kevin had seen a post from Christina in which she announced the location of her show. He travelled to the venue, intending to kill her. The artist's sudden loss resulted in a wave of sadness in the United States music community. As soon as the news spread, fans of the singer and fellow artists started sending messages with the hashtag PrayForChristina. Singer Adam Levine, who was Christina's coach during The Voice, posted a photo of the singer on his Instagram with the message. I'm sad, shocked and confused. We love you so much, Grimmy. We are all praying hard that you can pull through this. This just isn't fair. Singer Demi Lovato left tributes on her social media. Rest in peace, Christina. My thoughts and prayers are with her loved ones. On Twitter, the official account of The Voice posted two messages. We are heartbroken. Christina Grimmie is a loved member of our family. Our thoughts are with her and her family. There are no words. We lost a beautiful soul with an amazing voice. Our hearts go out to the friends, fans and family of Christina Grimmie. The tragedy involving the former The Voice participant once again raised the discussion about the availability of weapons in the United States. Orlando police confirmed that, as standard procedure, audience members were searched before entering the show. But the venue did not have metal detectors, and this crucial step was skipped. In December 2016, six months after the crime, the singer's family filed a simultaneous action against those responsible for organising the event, the promoter and the venue's security company. They alleged that the lack of proper security led to the singer's death and almost led to numerous other deaths as well. In January 2017, the entities being sued requested that the case be annulled arguing that no Florida law states that business owners are responsible for attacks carried out on their premises. In April 2017, the family created the Christina Grimmie Foundation to raise money to support the families of attack victims who are not supported by the government. The family spent years looking for justice, but on December 3rd, 2019, Accepting that their allegations were not moving forward, they decided to end the matter and voluntarily dismissed the case.
Christina's wake was held at her home in New Jersey. It was a small ceremony, attended only by her family and close friends. However, on June 16th, 2016, a public funeral was held. Adam Levine offered to pay for her funeral expenses. We express our deepest sympathies to the victim's family. If you've made it this far, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Also, add your opinion in our comments. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next case.